I went on eBay and I searched for spin heads for my Clarisonic. So I came across these imitations, right? They're not the same as the actual Clarisonic brush heads. They're just imitations, okay? For two brush heads, it's $6.95 and the shipping is free. I bought two of the Deep Pore brushes and two of the Acme brushes. These are actually my favorite brush heads from the Clarisonic brand. So that means that I spent $12 dollars well 13 something almost 14 dollars for the four of them okay and guess what they have a special where if you buy four brushes you get two brushes free so i ended up getting six of these brushes like half the price of a clarisonic brush clarisonic themselves they have a two pack that you get two brushes for 40 dollars now individually each brush head is usually $25 plus tax which is 27 so if you're paying $14 for for basically six brush heads I think that's a bargain right so the packaging is definitely more expensive it has more features it, it has more words and printing and you know it's more eye-catching if you look at it but it's still cardboard okay so that's the Clarisonic brush okay now here's the acne brush it's um they all come in individual packets like this from the ebay store it doesn't have much writing on it much printing nothing nothing but it's still made out of the same kind of cardboard maybe this one might be a little bit thinner than that one but uh, it's about it's cardboard what the fuck it's the same thing right anyway so let's open them up and look inside uh, Let's get rid of the packaging. We've talked about the outside. Now let's talk about the inside. Okay, so let's get that box out of the way. So now, this is a Clarisonic brush. This is the fake, the imitation, the imposter, the I How much more words can I? The impersonator, the imposter, the fake, the fraud. Okay, let's get closer. They're both green. This one is a Clarisonic brush. This one is a fake. And as you can see, the Clarisonic brush is a little bit lighter green than the fake. Let's turn it around. The plastic on the Clarisonic brush is a little bit whiter. This one is a little bit more cream, beige. Something's up with a wheel inside there. I can actually see like the, the brush bristles, the spokes inside there where they're stuck down, adhered. Yes, but mostly these things are pretty much the same. They look similar. The, the function pretty much the same. The indentations are pretty much the same. Let me look at this one. First of all, I can hardly get this one off. Sometimes it's really stuck on there, so that's the fake. And let's look at the plastic from the fake versus the real. That, that's a, that's a good impersonation. <laughs> they were pretty much the same. This, ooh, well, good job. The only difference really is that this one has the name Clarisonic on it, right? The only difference is that the Clarisonic brand is on this cap. They look like they're more in little packs. They look like they're, they have the same formation, but they, for some reason, they look more organized, if that makes any sense. Now let's see how they feel. Okay. Oh, well, this one is not moving as, as, oh, okay. Okay, it's just that needs to be clicked in to place. But anyway, um, this one rotates nicely and the brush bristles feel, uh, a little bit harsher a little bit more how do I say this a little bit more rough they just feel a little firmer a little rough however I feel like they have the same amount of brush bristles this one just feels smoother and softer yes much smoother this one feels a little bit more rough that one feels just a little bit more softer, silkier, kind of like cat hair. <laughs> feels kind of like cat hair or sable hair brushes. Although both of them are synthetic, for sure. 
they're both synthetic synthetic and yes as I could see the their brush height is about the same so you're getting just about the same brush height same depth uh, I think you're getting about the same amount of brush bristles too <laughs> just this one's softer so if you want more of a rough texture on your skin then this one would be it I guess you would want to if you want to resurface your skin this one would be rougher this one just feels softer silkier two of the fake brushes come in a pack for $6.95 times two which is $13.90 so that's four brushes and they throw in two free so you're getting six brushes for $13.90 okay two of the Clarisonic brushes cost $40 and if you buy them individually, they're going to cost you about $27.50, okay? Now the only test is to test them out on my skin and see what I really think about both of them. This is the fake Clarisonic spin head brush, uh, head whatever, whatever. And um, you can see it's darker green and I'm going to try it out on my face. It makes a lot more noise. It sounds like something is grating. I don't know if something's out of place. Oh, okay. It kind of stopped. Hmm. You can hear that, right? It's like, it's like it's knocking up against something. The brush bristles are very dense. Hold on. The brush bristles are pretty dense. They feel very soft, much softer than the well not that much softer but much softer than the <laughs> actual spin head from Clarisonic it makes a little bit of noise I don't know if something just needs adjusting mm. I'm just concentrating on this side of my face all in all, I don't think it feels that much different. It's just that it's making a weird rattling noise and, and it feels pretty much the same except that the bristles are a little bit softer. Um, yeah. Um, I'm gonna do the other side with the other spin brush. So now, I don't know if you can notice the difference, but now I have the Clarisonic brush. I already did my my right side of my face, my right side of my face, with the fake, the imposter, the fraud, the impersonator. Anyway, so now I'm going to brush my face with the Clarisonic brush on the left side. Okay. Definitely a little bit harsher on the skin which I personally don't mind because I like to resurface my skin. I like to get that abrasion, abrasiveness that removes all the, the dead skin cells. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's much more abrasive, but it still feels pretty this, pretty much the same. And there's, there, I don't hear the noise, but it does, you hear that? It does kind of feel like it's bumping up against the walls while it's spinning, you know? The interior circle is kind of like bumping up against the exterior circle because, you know, they're like concentric circles inside of it. The green one is bumping up against the white one on the outside. So it does have that kind of brooting or grating sound going on. Same as just the same but not as loud. Hmm. Maybe I'm not pressing them in properly, but usually they're just like a hum. I still think that no spin brush works like the Clarisonic brush though. I ain't gonna lie. I've had a few spin brushes and I do not think that any other spin brush works as well. I mean, some of them, they just stop as soon as you press too hard on them and all kinds of stupidness, like some real cheap ones. 
Oh, I want to do it more. I like it. I like it. Honestly, these brush bristles are stiffer, hotter, a little bit rougher, more abrasive to the, the skin. So I believe it would remove more of the dead skin cells than the other side. Now I'm gonna compare the dirty brushes to each other. <laughs> I didn't wash them out. I'm gonna I'm gonna compare the dirty brushes. So these are the dirty brushes now. This is the Clarisonic brush, and this is the fake, the imposter. So let's look closer. You see how the brush bristles are just kind of like compacted into little circle shapes, you know, around each other. I think they have the same organization. I just, I just feel like the Clarisonic brushes are too damn expensive um, to replace. So if you can find a cheaper alternative, why wouldn't you? Anyway, I think they picked up about the same amount of dirt. I think they look just about as dirty as each other. So I think the fake is worth it. Six brushes for half the price. I think it's damn well worth it. Bye. Bye. The panda. I know you want the panda. I'm a sexy panda.